the United States has changed its position regarding restrictions on the usage of American weapons to hit targets on Russian territory. According to Anthony Blinken, Washington's opinion depended on the situation on the battlefield, and President Joe Biden has approved the usage of American weaponry for the limited purpose to defend Kharkiv region. We haven't encouraged or enabled strikes outside of Ukraine. Um, but Ukraine, as I've said before, has to make its own decisions about the best way to effectively defend itself. We're going to make sure that it has the equipment it needs to do that. Uh, and another hallmark of our um, support for Ukraine over these now more than two years has been to adapt. Um, as the conditions have changed, as the battlefield has changed, as what Russia does has changed in terms of how it's pursuing its aggression, escalation, we've adapted and adjusted to, and I'm confident we'll continue to do that. According to the Washington Post, Anthony Blinken was the first senior U.S. official to publicly say that Washington was considering changing its policy. At the same time, Canada became the 13th country to give Ukraine permission to use its weapons to strike military targets in the Federation. Russia has no red line, and so that is why we need to make sure that when it comes to uh, Ukraine's uh, defense, that we're there to help them and that uh, we show that notwithstanding what is happening, that we're by their side. And there's, uh, in Canada, no condition on end-user uh, shipment uh, of arms to Ukraine, and that is why we will continue to work with uh, Ukrainian armed forces. In May 2024, United Kingdom announced that it would allow Ukrainian armed forces to strike the territory of the aggressor country with British weapons. London's position was supported by the Baltic countries, Finland, Sweden, Czech Republic, the Netherlands, Denmark and Norway. Now the USA, Poland, Germany and France have also joined the list. Therefore, in this case, the fact that other countries have stated that they provide an opportunity to strike with their weapons, the manufacturer must give their final decision. If now many NATO countries have already announced this, I think that this issue will be resolved sooner, because the NATO summit is still more than a month away. Removing restrictions on strikes by Western weapons on the territory of the aggressor country will be one of the central topics at the NATO summit. It will take place from July 9th to 11th in Washington. Earlier, NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg called on the bloc's allies to consider allowing the use of weapons provided to Kiev by the partners to hit targets in Russia. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.